right, some people want to know how well the RTX 3060 works with EV. I have this scene right here. It it was primarily set up for uh, cycles, but I have tweaked it a little bit so it works pretty good with uh, EV, even though I'm not real good with EV. So, but anyway, this is what it looks like rendered in real time with EV, and I'm not going to try to explain you know my settings because I'm, it's a lot of guesswork when it comes to EV because I'm not that good at EV but as you can see this glare is probably a little bit too bright I could probably adjust that to make it look better but in my opinion it, it works pretty good you can see like when I'm when I move it takes about a half second for it to catch up and that's about it that's not bad pins are a little bright could probably turn down the uh, what do they call that gl uh, balloon that's what it's called probably turn that down or uh, probably a clamp I don't know like I said I'm not real familiar with EV I've messed with it a few times but I for the most part I prefer uh, cycles intensity that's the right one that probably looks better yeah I think that does I really need to work on this computer right here to make it look more realistic but yeah that's pretty much my example of how well it works in EV and it seems to work pretty good I wouldn't have no complaints I mean, it's as close to real time as you can really get in Blender. Now let me move the camera, make sure the camera is selected, and that's the Y axis. Move it in over here, and then I'll rotate it over here. So yeah, I think it works pretty good. I'm happy with the GPU. I kind of wish it was a little bit more powerful in cycles, but for EV it works perfect, or at least it seems to, and it works pretty good in cycles. It's just not quite as powerful as the 3070 that I got used to. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any other uh, questions about the 3060, let me know. Later, people.